Hello my precious jewels. Welcome and welcome back to my channel. It's Julie and if you like makeup reviews, makeup hauls, makeup tutorials, first impressions, and all things beauty then you come to the right channel. In today's video the Sephora sale is coming up if you guys don't already know. There are so many videos out about the Sephora spring sale right now that my video is late but I wanted to share with you guys my Sephora spring 2024 sale recommendations. The sale starts on April 5th and it runs to April 15th. For the duration of the sale, everybody can shop Sephora collection and receive 30%. If you are a Rouge member, then you receive 20% from April 5th to the 15th. If you are a VIB member, then from April 9th to the 15th, you receive 15%. And if you are a Sephora Insider, you can shop from the 9th to the 15th and receive 10%. So that's what I wanted to say. Okay, so now I have quite a bit of products that I'm gonna share with you guys. And I am gonna start with skincare because skincare is like one of the first steps to applying makeup because you wanna make sure that your skin is prepped properly. I've been trying these two products since last year and I just want to update you guys on it. If you guys didn't see a video where I talked about these two products, then I'm just letting you know that I have been trying these two products from Lancome since last year. I was on a hunt for a new serum to take the place of my number 50 serum from It Cosmetics. They discontinued it, so I needed something else. So I started using this Lancome Advanced Genifique Youth Activating concentrate. I really like it. I do see positive changes in my skin. It's very plump. It's very youthful and the skin is looking more even. My skin tone is more even so yeah. So I don't know if it's coming from that particular serum or this one. This is the Lancome Renergy HCF Triple Serum. It has hyaluronic acid, C plus niacinamide and ferulic acid. This is actually my bottle out of my bathroom. So yeah, I really like it. It's doing really great things with my skin. So I just wanted to show you guys in case you were interested in the products that I use on my skin. So I did do a skincare video. I don't know how many of you guys watched it, but I did do a skincare video. So I wanted to just show you that. Okay, so I'm gonna start with eyeshadow palettes because I have only two and they're sitting right here. They're actually both by Huda Beauty. One is the Huda Beauty Pretty Grunge Palette. I did a review on this on my channel. And then the other one is the Huda Beauty Empowered Eyeshadow Palette. This one is from like two Christmases ago and this one is from last Christmas. Both are gorgeous palettes. This one is more of a warm tone, neutrals with some pops of color, some shimmers, and some dark enough colors to give you some depth in your crease if you are of a deeper skin tone like I am. So this is the palette that I take with me all the time. I travel with this palette because it can give me a nice everyday look or it can give me something glam. So I really do love this palette. But like I said, this one is a warm tone palette. So if you enjoy a cool tone palette, this one will probably be the one that you will love. I love this palette. I thought it was gorgeous, but I definitely pick up that Empowered palette more, but this one is so pretty. You get really, really nice eye looks, but this is a cool tone palette. Same amount of shades, very similar colors, but just more on the cooler side. I love both of these palettes, and if you're looking for a palette to pick up during a sale, and you like a more natural look, maybe on the on the warmer side or maybe on the cooler side, then those are two good palettes that you can pick up during a sale. I wanna say they retail for like $65 if I'm not mistaken, but I think so. The next thing that I'm gonna tell you guys about that I'm recommending is primers. I have three primers. Actually, I have one more piece of skincare. Okay, so this is the Glow Recipe Watermelon Glow Niacinamide Dew Drops. If you're looking for something that you can put on that's giving you skincare properties and also giving you a very nice glowy look on your skin, this is from Glow Recipe. It's gorgeous. Just very, I'm going to show you the back of my hand and I'm going to square a little bit just so you can see. But it's a very gorgeous glow that it gives. And you can also use this under your makeup as a primer. I usually don't because 
I have very oily textured skin in some spots in my cheek area and around my nose so I don't usually do that but yeah so that's the glow that it gives it's really good I love it okay so to get to my primers now I'm gonna talk about three primers one I think I talked about before it could have been in the last sale but I'm gonna tell you about it again because it's still one of my favorites I'm always on the hunt for a good primer and when I say a good primer for me in my skin type is a primer that will keep my cheeks looking smooth like they look now it doesn't make the texture stand out more than it normally would like when I put products on top of it sometimes you be like, oh my God, what's inside of those pores because they're so enlarged. I want something that keeps my skin smooth, does not enlarge my pores, makes my makeup last long and also keeps the oil from showing up as early as it will. Because I have very oily skin. I don't know if there's anything that you can do to make your skin not produce oil because it's gonna produce something, but you just want it to be where your makeup is still intact. If you have to blot your face, which I usually don't, I don't blot my face when I'm doing a wear test, but if I'm out and it looks a little much for me, especially in the warmer months, then I will blot my face. And sometimes I'll even carry a powder, but I never use a touch up powder because by the time I finish setting my makeup, I don't really have to reapply any powder. So that's a good thing. The Huda Beauty Water Jelly Hydrating Primer. I had this primer for about a year before I tried it. And I tried it one night because I was doing a full face of Huda Beauty, right? I had a lot of her products. I hadn't touched them. And I was like, you know what? Let me give it a try. Fell in love with this primer. It's such a good primer. It's so underrated. You know, what happens is, New stuff comes out and we forget about the oldies but goodies, but I love, love, love this primer. I don't have anything bad to say about it at all. Like, I love it. Okay, so my next primer is going to be the Danessa Myricks Smooth FX Mattifying and Refining Gel. It comes in a little bottle. It's very silicone-y, but not silicone. It gives the skin a very nice glow. And it also keeps the skin very smooth. I'm wearing it right now. It's gorgeous under this makeup that I'm wearing. Very nice primer. If you have not tried it, I recommend it. It's really a good, good primer. Then I have the Glow Wish by Huda Beauty Blur Jam Silicone Free Smoothing Primer. I fell in love with this primer when it first came out. And I'm very sad to hear that she is phasing out the Glow Wish line. I liked a lot of the products from the Glow Wish line. I like the powders. I like the skin tint. So I'm hoping that she just changes the name and keeps the product because it's a really good product. It's very good for oily textured skin. All of the products that I'm going to tell you about are geared towards somebody that has skin like mine because I can only tell you about products that, that work good for my skin type. So I have very oily textured skin and it's textured mostly in this cheek area and around my nose. So if I find a product that can have my skin looking smooth once I put layers of products on it, I'm in love. I speak very highly of these three primers. They are really, really good. This is my second video I'm filming today and I just want to let you guys know that I do have links now. I will be linking everything in the description box. So if you guys are shopping for the sale and you wanna help out the channel and help me out, please, Click on the links and do your shopping through the links so that we can keep this channel going. It's my first time using links. Like, I was super excited to get them. I just wanted to let you guys know that it is an affiliate code, so I will receive a small portion of the sale. So, yeah. So, I do have links that are going to be linked in my videos coming up. Oh, I want to tell you about the moisturizer that I'm wearing as well. So I have the Clinique Moisture Surge 72 Hour Auto Replenishing Hydrator. I am showing you guys things that I use that are sold at Sephora that I really, really love. And this is a really good, a lightweight moisturizer. It keeps the skin hydrated and it's, it looks gorgeous under makeup. Just look. So yeah. Again, I'm going to have links for everything, so if you miss something, just know that it will be listed in the description box. Now, the next thing I'm going to show you guys are my powders. So I have two powders that I'm recommending, two loose powders that I'm going to recommend to you guys. I've been using this Too Faced Born This Way Ethereal Setting Powder, and I have it in 
four shades, but I mostly use the translucent deep, which is this one, and also the translucent medium. And they are gorgeous on the skin. They are, they just look beautiful on the skin. They keep the skin very smooth. They blend into the skin effortlessly. Like they are just gorgeous powders. And I had them for a while. And again, it's something that, you know, I buy a lot of products and I don't always get a chance to use them. And I fell in love the first time I tried them. So just wanted to share those with you guys. I really do love those powders. And I have actually quite a few powders that I really like, but I'm trying to phase them out for my own personal reasons. So I have these Huda Beauty <laughs> Easy Bake Loose Powders. I have it in four shades. I have a cool tone set and a warm tone set. So these colors are very similar, right? But this is warmer and this is more neutral. So depending on what foundation I wear, I might switch up the powders, but I love them. I have Cunefa, I have Coffee Shop, I have Cinnamon Bun, and I have Blondie. And I love all four of them. And the good thing about it, I don't know if you guys know, that she's keeping these, but she actually came out with the same formula, but no fragrance. So, well, I guess it's not really the same formula if they took the fragrance out, but it's supposed to be the same exact powder, but just without fragrance. Not... The ones that she came out with, um, the top free. They're supposed to be the same exact formula. I have some setting sprays that I want to share with you guys. I have three setting sprays that I really, really love. So the first one I'm going to tell you about is the Benefit Professional Super Setter Setting Spray. It's gorgeous. Very long lasting. It makes the face look lifelike. It doesn't give a super, super matte look where you like have no life to your face. When you spray this on, your highlighter is still gonna be highlighting. Your skin is still gonna be glowing. I'm wearing this now, I love it. It's good in hot weather and it's great for oily skin. So I love that one. Then I have the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray, Party All Day, Stay All Night. Some of these products will be products that I've talked about before, but I have a lot of new subscribers. Thank God for that. Thank God for all of my subscribers. I love you all, but I'm just saying, some of you guys have heard me talk about this and some of you haven't because I've been trying different set and sprays, but I really like this one. It's very long lasting, very mattifying. Like you are gonna be matte. It takes a little bit of time for your skin to look lifelike because it's so matte, but it's really good and it does last all day. So I highly recommend this one. And then LYS. Beauty came out with this natural finish skin loyalty blur mattify set makeup setting spray. I love it. Another one, very long lasting, very comparable to the Charlotte Tilbury. I like the light mister on this. You spray it, it feels like nothing. Like you be spraying, like did anything come out? But yeah, it's coming out. Very long lasting, another very mattifying look. Like you're gonna be like, oh my god, I look real matte. But after a while, your oils will come out but it's a very mattifying, long lasting setting spray. So I do love this one. I have like two backups already, so I love it. <laughs> so I definitely recommend those setting sprays. They're really, really good. I guess I will talk about my three <laughs> concealers that I wanna share with you guys. First, I wanna start with the Born This Way Ethereal Light Illuminating Smoothing Concealer. When I tried this concealer over the summer last year, I loved it. It's such a hydrating but natural looking medium to kind of full coverage i love it i have it in about five different shades i just pulled out like two of them tonight but i love this it's one of my favorites i know you guys see me reach for this a lot in my videos because when i'm wearing something that's like a skin tint or very serum like this is my go-to concealer love that then i have the house labs Triclone Skin Concealer. I have it in three shades, 42, 40, and 30. I just love them. I'm wearing them right now. I'm wearing these two colors right now. I just love the way it looks under the eyes. The eyes look so smooth, so beautiful. It's not a super full coverage, but it's supposed to be buildable. I just love it. I think it's gorgeous. It wears long. It stays looking like it looks now. Like You won't come home and be like, Oh my god, what happened to my eyes? Like, it's really, really good. So, I really love these. And 
I just wanted to share with you that I really, really love these. I try a lot of concealers, but these are the ones that when I'm going out, I reach for them because they're really good. And I know I'm not going to be disappointed by the end of the night. Okay, so I have Huda Beauty Full Filter Concealer. I love these concealers. I have, I think, five different shades. I don't know what the other one is right now. I have five different shades. I use them for different things. I really like them. This one right here. I use as a color corrector. This one is shade Honeycomb 7.7R. It has a very like red undertone. So before I even got the Huda Beauty color corrector, before it even came out, I was using this as a color corrector because it does color correct under your eyes and any imperfections that you have. So it's basically the same formula as the full filter color corrector, but you know, this is just these kind of skin like colors and this is more like a deep orange tone that's supposed to get rid of your hyperpigmentation under your chin, under your eyes, on your face. I love these concealers and I love this full filter color corrector. I do want to try, I want to say the shade is mango but it's way sold out so I might be able to pick it up on this trip to Sephora. Okay, so I want to tell you about this Anastasia Brow Freeze Gel. This is new. It came out, I think, around the last sale. I purchased it and didn't try it, and then I picked it up and I tried it, and I love it. It keeps my brows on where I don't have to redo them. I don't have to touch them up. It's so good. I mean, like, it's so, so good. So, I definitely recommend this. Like, the formula is a gel. It has, like, a special kind of brush with two kinds of bristles on it and then it has two flat sides that you can kind of laminate them and make them flat but this is a mini and I'm gonna get a full size because I really really like it okay then I want to tell you about my <laughs> my brow product that I'm wearing I am recommending this benefit precisely my brow pencil I have shade number five I love it it's perfect for me it's so so good out of all of the pencils that I've tried, and I've tried a lot, I've tried Charlotte Tilbury, I've tried Cosize, I've tried quite a few. I can't name them all, but this is the one that I love and I still have. Oh, I like the Too Faced one too, but I like the point on this one. I like the smoothness of it, the color payoff. It's just a really gorgeous pencil. Okay, so then I have this House Labs pencil that I have inside my waterline. I love all of her pencils. I think I have like four or five shades. I have two browns, like a matte brown, a shimmery brown, a white. This is beige matte. And she has some new colors out. She has a yellow one that I want to get. Love it. It's water resistant. It lasts all day. And it's very smooth going on your uh, waterline. So if you're looking for a good waterline pencil, I like this. This is really good. So I just wanted to share that with you guys. Okay, so now I wanna talk about my sunscreen that I've been liking. This is the Super Goop Glow Screen SPF 40. I love this for no makeup days, like just no makeup or going out. It has a nice glow to it. Let me see if you could see that glow. I'm gonna put it on the back of this hand. This has, it comes in shades, and then it came out with something new more like a skin tint with SPF in it. So I think I might try that. So this is what the color looks like. And I'm just going to rub it in on the back of my hand so you can see what it looks like. But I always have to wear this with a little powder because my skin is so oily that you will be like, oh my God, what is going on with your face? <laughs> yeah, so I always have to wear it with a powder to keep the oil down. I actually did a video the other day showing y'all, but yeah, I should have let it dry before I put the other products over it, but it's really good on the skin. Okay, so I have another powder, actually two powders that I want to talk about. Actually three powders, yeah. Okay, so I have these Sephora Micro Smooth powders. I think I have like about, I probably have about seven shades. I have a number like 60, 65, 
70 75 they discontinued some and i picked them up i tried to get as many as i could get while they were on sale for ten dollars so i have a bunch of these these two are shade number 60 and oh both of them are shade okay so they both are shade 60 right but this 60 was deep and this 60 was ebony because they changed the colors so yeah because this is the the newer one they changed the colors this was the old 60 and this is the new 60 so one day I will show you the comparison because I do have some older ones that I never opened before. I love it. It's very smoothing on the skin. It doesn't give a lot of color payoff and you can use it on top of all your other makeup to like set it or whatever. I really love it. Okay, so this Sephora Matte Powder Foundation, I have it in the color 56.8 and it's a perfect color for somebody of my complexion if you're my complexion or maybe a shade lighter or darker you will love this it's really really good i also have a deeper one that i use as a bronzer sometimes this one is 65 in and i fell in love with it so much that i went back and i got the deeper one i was like oh i could use that as a bronzer so that is what that one looks like and let me just show you the lighter color so you can see the difference so there is a pretty drastic difference in the shades good powders Sephora actually has some pretty good products some of their stuff some of their stuff is good some of their stuff I don't really care for but that I actually really love okay then I have my Charlotte Tilbury airbrush flawless skin perfecting micro powder I use it in shade number three I am hitting pan but I love it this was before they actually changed the color so I have a new one because they had three shades and then I think they came out with like another one. So this was one of the original ones and I love it. So we're going pretty fast, which is good. We're going pretty fast. So I'm going to go over blushes now. I'll do foundations last. I'm going to go over blushes now because I have quite a few blushes that I love. And I have quite a few bronzes that I love. I love anything from House Labs that I purchased, right? Except for the powder. And I say that all the time. I don't think it was an actual powder. I think it was the component that it was in. I just couldn't get past it. So I just never really messed with it like that. I have a lot of blushes that I could share with you guys. But these are the ones that I reach for the most. So I want to just share them with you. So they changed the formula of these blushes they made them talc free i don't know how that's gonna work but i guess we will find out this is the color hibiscus haze i'm wearing it right now then i have the shade watermelon bliss one of my favorites they made this smaller and they changed the packaging so now the color of the actual blush is instead of a sticker on the back the front and i think the back of it is like a plastic or whatever. I didn't see it in person yet, but I love these. Like, I just loved the mirror. Of course, they get dirty fast, but I love them. Then I have this shade, which is Acai Sky. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Maybe I should swatch them so you guys could see. But again, like I said, they changed the formula, so I don't know. But that is so pretty. And let me swatch this one. This is the Watermelon Bliss. I love it. So good for summertime so good then the one that i'm wearing it's a pretty pink i didn't think i was gonna like it i was like oh my god that's too light but it's gorgeous like i i love it it's such an everyday pink blush see that gorgeous and then this last one which is my favorite now, i i am gonna try the new ones but i'm not gonna get the same i might get one of the same color just so that i could see how the formula has changed I'm just mad. I love the package. I love everything about it. This one right here. This one is Dragon Fruit Days. One of my favorites. Such a pretty like electric pink. It's gorgeous. So that's the four that I have. So, so pretty. I love these blushes. House Labs really did their thing with the products that they have that I love. Okay, so I'm going to just show you my highlighters that I love by them. I'm wearing this one right now. This is Rose Quartz. That is what it looks like. This is the Bio Radiant Gel Ooh, Powder Highlighter. Gorgeous. So, so pretty. Look at that. It's just gorgeous. Look at it on my skin. It's beautiful. I love it. <laughs> I really, really love it. Okay, so this is my favorite of all time. Okay, this color is Bronzite. It's gorgeous. Such a beautiful shade for 
a deep skin tone. So natural, just gives you that glow from within. Like, that is not a shade that you want to be without. You see that? How beautiful it is? Yeah, I love that. Then we have this shade, which is Fire Opal. Another gorgeous one. I love it. It's so beautiful. I know you guys have seen these on my channel because I definitely wear these a lot. I just love them. I just love highlighter, love blush, love makeup, period. And I just, like, I, I gotta wear them. Like, I gotta wear them. People be like, where are you going with all that makeup on? I'm like, out. <laughs> the same place you're going. Okay, so this one is Golden Pyrite. It's a beautiful gold. Look how pretty that is. And very, very pigmented and beaming. Then we have one more which is Pink Amethyst. I love this one too. This was one of my first ones. It looks gold, but it has a pink undertone, like a pink shift. So, so pretty. I felt bad like digging into these because they're so pretty, but you gotta wear them. So those are my five highlighters from House Labs. Now, they did have a bronzer that I loved, but I'll talk about that when I get to bronzers. Then I have these Givenchy or Givenchy, or Givenchy, whatever one. I have these Prismate Libre blushes. They are so, so good. I have shades four, five, and six. Let me tell you something. When I got them, I did not want to like them. I was like, I want to be able to take this back to the store. I don't believe in spending $43 on a blush, but they are so so gorgeous on the skin it's like the mixture just does something to your face so that's what the color looks like it must have been upside down you put some like in the top and you swirl it around and um it's just gorgeous i don't know what happened but yeah it's it looks gorgeous on like you have to see it on it doesn't even make any sense that looks like one of the colors just came out but they are beautiful on the skin just like butter the colors together just it just kind of like glows differently on your skin i mean these blushes are gorgeous so i'm not even gonna maybe swatch these other two i'm gonna see how they are because i got this one upside down and that's why it was like that this one is more of a peachy kind of color that one was more of a pinky undertone but you could actually see like it's more than one color in there so that's what this one looks like and if i can get a little bit out the top and just show you what it's so so gorgeous on the skin. You see that? It looks better than I'm showing you like the swatches because you gotta mix it and all of that, but it's it's beautiful. You could even wear them alone. You don't have to mix them, but it's just something about the formula. It looks so smooth and just so silk-like. It's just gorgeous on the skin. I just, I just loved them. I had to go pick up two more. I didn't want to, believe me, but <laughs> I didn't have a choice. <laughs> I didn't have a choice. Then we have, I should have told y'all the colors, right? This one is number five, Pope Line Via Line. Oh, I never even tried this one. Wow, okay, so that, okay, that's something for us to use because I never tried that one, but those other two, I really love them. I really do. I didn't even realize I didn't wear this one. I have the powders too, but I haven't fell in love with the powders yet, but I do have the powders. And then I have these two liquid blushes from Rare Beauty. I have Grateful and Love. They are gorgeous. They are very pigmented right and more of a matte kind of finish but when they go on the skin they have a nice sheen to it these are my two colors this one is grateful and this one is love i'm wearing love on my cheeks now and i want to show you just a little bit about how they look i'm not gonna do a lot of swatching because i'm running out of space on this hand you only need one little dot like that for your whole cheek because they're very, very pigmented. But it's so, so gorgeous. You see that? It is so gorgeous. And I think any skin tone could wear this. Not only deeper skin tones, but I think lighter skins can wear this as well. She has a lot of different shades and I think she came out with a few more. So I'm gonna see what they have. I don't think I need another blush. Like, I have so many blushes. I'm only sharing with you guys the ones that I reach for the most because I have so many blushes. It's ridiculous if I was to recommend every blush that I have. We would be here until tomorrow. Okay, so that is the color love. They're just gorgeous. I just love them. They just look so good on the skin, and they're very, 
very pigmented a little bit goes a long way Patrick Ta I love his blushes right I have a few of his blushes and I really do love them I think I have like two or three of the shades this was one of my favorites holiday time this one was called she's wanted it's a cream and powder formula I don't do it the way that he says to do it I put my cream on first and I set it with the powder because I have oily textured skin like I've been saying and I don't like such a dewy look on my cheeks a lot of times it just makes my pores really just come to life and I don't want that so I do it the opposite way it still looks just as beautiful I just can't take that dewiness on my skin like that like I think this glow looks gorgeous but if it gets too much more dewy I'd be like wait a minute let me get some powder or something but like I said I don't normally powder um, but I will I'm not I'm not against it okay so I want to tell you about my bronzers that I love I do have more than one Patrick Ta shade but that's the shade that I pulled out because that's the one I've been wearing a lot so house labs has a bronzer this is level 12 or deep level 12 yeah deep level 12 I like it it's really good but it does not show up like I was in love with it until I found something else that just showed up a lot better see how that is it's gorgeous like it really is gorgeous formula gorgeous I want to say that the blushes look more like this kind of plastic that's what she changed it and it's smaller so it's probably easier to travel with but yeah so back to this it's a gorgeous bronzer I love it I definitely wear it but I wear it based on which foundation I have on because sometimes it's not enough pigment yeah okay then of course my Charlotte Tilbury airbrush bronzer in shade number four I love this this is so so good when I first got it I didn't think that it was gonna work for me but it's I love it like it's it's nothing else to say but it's a excellent excellent formula it's just enough color payoff and I really enjoy it so I, I reach for it a lot it was one of the first bronzes that actually showed up on my chocolate skin so I think I will always have a special spot in my heart for it yeah but my favorite bronzer of the moment and I know I say it every time I use it is this NARS Laguna number no. 8 I'm wearing it right now this shade of bronzer is the perfect shade for my complexion it has that chocolatey reddish deep brown that looks sun-kissed it makes your skin look like you were in the sun the formula is smooth it's just buttery smooth it blends in it is gorgeous I love it if you don't have this bronzer and you are my complexion or a shade or two above or below girl get this you will love it it this is the mini size I have the large one but I love it I use it a lot like a lot a lot a lot it's my favorite let me just tell you about these lip products real fast that I have I'm trying to be quick because this is gonna be a pretty long video so these are the house labs lay monster lip crayon 2.0 I have current matte I have mocha matte I have peach matte and I have one more mahogany matte so these are my four lip colors that I have from house labs they're gorgeous they're pigmented they're long-lasting they're super comfortable on the lips and you really can't go wrong with them they're really really good I'm wearing a lip liner from Sephora in the color molasses I really do like their lip liners I didn't think I was gonna like them but they're pigmented they're comfortable they last long and they also have that sharp and a retractable pencil so they're really good I love those and on my lips I have besides those things that I just mentioned I have this gorgeous lip gloss by Too Faced this is the Too Faced Kissing Jelly Glosses it is so comfortable has a little bit of color payoff smells like raspberries because this is the raspberry fragrance a little hint of color but if you have lips that are the color of mine you're not really going to see it but it's so good oh my god and I have a second one too this one is called bubblegum I think I bought I think I bought four but these are the two that I really have tried that I pulled out and they're so good so you can get whatever whatever color you want but this is bubblegum oh it smells like bazooka from back in the days this one has like a little shimmer 
so so pretty when you feel these on your lips if you haven't tried it already you're gonna love it if you like this video and you made it this far i would love it if you would subscribe to the channel give the video a thumbs up leave me a comment and let me know if you have any of these products that i've talked about so far okay so i'm gonna tell you about my foundations now because i think that's it for my, my bronzers okay so I don't know if I missed anything. I don't think that I did. If I have to come back and do a part two of this video, then I will. But let me tell you about my foundations. So these are foundations that I reach for on a regular basis. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Before I get to the foundations, I have something else I want to share with you guys. These lip balms by Summer Fridays. I have like four different ones. I love them. They're good. I'm looking for the next best thing though. Like they definitely give you gloss. I feel like after a while your lips still get a little chapped using them. Like you have to reapply. So yeah. I love these Sephora lipsticks. These colors are so pretty. I tried it. Let me see. Look how pretty that color is. Gorgeous. I love it. It looks so good on the lips. And then I have shade number nine. It's like a purpley pink or like it's just gorgeous they're very comfortable on the lips and nicely pigmented they're not so opaque that you can't see through your lips they're more like a medium coverage they're not a full coverage lipstick but i love these the ysl candy glazes this one right here this is number three i love it it's so good on the lips so shiny just so you don't need anything else but this and a lip liner that's how good it is. I have it in like, I don't know, like five or six colors, but they're really good. I'll link the colors below that I have. I gotta find half of them, I don't even know. I know where two of them are. I, I put them away and then I'll be like, I have so much stuff that I don't know where it is, but I do have like five of them. I did a video showing you guys. So yeah, let me talk about these foundations. So I have, let me see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, oh, eight. Eight foundations, right? I know it seems like a lot, but it's really not when you're a person that tries so much makeup. They all have like a different look. Like I have this foundation on right now, this Laura Mercier foundation, and it has a very glowy look. I think it's supposed to be like a matte foundation, but it's very glowy. I probably had this makeup on. I started filming at about six, so it's 10.38 now. And it just looks gorgeous, like very dewy, and I like it. This is the Laura Mercier Real Flawless Weightless Perfecting Foundation. All of these foundations that I'm going to tell you about have a little bit of skincare in them. Some of them are ceramide. The finishes on them are different. And I love all of them because depending on the look that you're going for, you can pick which one you would like to wear. The colors are very good. This color is perfect. I used this in a video a couple weeks ago. That's why I want to wear this one again just to show you how gorgeous the color is it's not what you think it was with that blush under it because the blush was so pigmented so I wanted to show you this again this is the color 6w1 ganache just in case any of you are interested in trying it then I have this new makeup forever HD skin hydro glow foundation I can't find my matte one so i'm assuming that i took it back because i would have it in my collection if i kept it this one is gorgeous on the skin the color is perfect this one is 4y70 it does oxidize but it looks gorgeous on the skin it's long lasting it's a glass bottle and it's just so so pretty i can't wait to try it in the summertime to see how it holds up in like 90 degree weather but i love it it's gorgeous then i have the Pat McGrath Lab Skin Fetish Sublime Perfection. I have this in shade number 32. And I feel like I need 30 or 31, but this foundation is $69. I will not be buying another one until I use this one. I don't care what color I need. This is like a little dark, but if I go in with like a lighter concealer and stuff, it kind of balances it out. It's When I tell you gorgeous on the skin, of course you know I have a video where I review this as well. It's gorgeous on the skin. I love it. It has a very natural but flawless look about it. It's really a good foundation. Then I have this Glossier Stretch Fluid Foundation. I bought this during the last sale. This is Deep One. 
is such a good foundation. It looks gorgeous on the skin. It's very neutral. So, you know, you put your rosy tones in it. You add your little, you know, you balance out what your color is. But this is gorgeous. It's long lasting. It just looks beautiful on the skin. I reviewed this as well. So, I just want to share with you what I've been reaching for, what I love. And it's just gorgeous. I haven't tried any other products by Glossier, but I really do like this one. Okay, so these two are like my favorite, favorite, favorites. This is the House Labs Triclone Skin Tech Foundation. This one is in shade number 490 Medium Deep Cool. Gorgeous. Oh my God, on the skin. It's beautiful. I love this. I love the bottle. I just love, like I said, a lot of stuff that House Labs has put out. It's gorgeous, gorgeous foundation. It really is. And the makeup by Mario, a lot of people didn't like it, but I loved it. He had like two or three shades that I could wear. So I wound up picking up 24 in. I did a video with this about a month ago. It's beautiful on the skin. It lasts long on me. It lasts all day on me. I don't know, some people was like, oh, it don't last long. I guess it depends on how you prep it. If I have oily skin and I can wear it all day, then I think just about anybody could wear it. It's a gorgeous, gorgeous foundation. Go back and check out some of my foundation reviews if you wanna see how these products wear on my face, but they are just gorgeous, gorgeous foundations. And then I have the Danessa Myricks Yummy Skin Balm. I have it in shades 9 and shades 10. When I bought them, this was my face color and this was my bronzer shade. It has a ingredient in it called Upsolite. This is like my perfect color. When I wear this one, I'm usually on my way to church, right? I don't have time to do makeup and I'm just throwing it on and it looks so good and you don't have to do a lot of powdering or anything like that and it lasts all day and you know, if you have oily skin and you don't do a lot of powdering, usually you have issues by the end of the day. But with this, it just looks so beautiful on the skin. I love it. It definitely is very hydrating, but it keeps your oil down. It gives you a very natural look. Let me just show you shade number 10. It's deeper. So that's good. Like if you go on vacation, if I go on vacation, then that's good. Last but not least is this skin tint by Danessa Myricks. The Danessa Myricks Yummy Skin Serum Skin Tint. I have shade number 13. I had 13 and 14, and I gave 14 to my sister. And I love this one. And then I feel like I should have kept 14 because I have two 13s. And I was like, ooh, what's going to happen when I get a tan? But that's all right. I'll put some bronzer on with it, and I'll make it work. I love this. It's beautiful on the skin. You can use your fingers, which I hate using my fingers. It's definitely... You gotta prep your skin if you have oily skin. It's a dewy, natural looking foundation. Well, not really a foundation, it's a skin tint. It gives a nice, natural look. I love it. This is something that I wear quite often. It's like an everyday type of product for me, so I really love it. And I wanna say, guys, that's everything that I have that I'm recommending for you guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give the video a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed to the channel and you're still here, that means that you love me. <laughs> so please subscribe to the channel and leave me a comment in the comment section. Let me know if you have any of these products. Are you going to try any of these products? What are you purchasing from the sale? And I have another video that I'm going to be coming out with showing you what I am going to be purchasing from the sale. So that's coming. I want to do different makeup. So I'll probably film that one tomorrow after I finish editing these videos. So I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope it was informative. And I hope I didn't run through the products too fast. I mean, it's, it's very long already. So I didn't want to bore you guys. So thank you so much for watching. Please click on one of the links so you can watch another video. And I will see you guys in the next video. I love you, my precious jewels. You are priceless. There's no price that we can put on ourselves. So you guys are priceless. I'm priceless. You're priceless. I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Please share this video and let me know your thoughts. I will chat with you guys soon. Let me know what you think about this makeup. Okay. <laughs> oh, again, I have the Laura Mercier foundation on just in case you guys were wondering. Okay.